right, we're getting started with SketchUp here. We're going to launch the program SketchUp. We're going to choose a template. I like the template Woodworking Inches. It's a simple one. You can choose others and explore them as you go. Basic starting tools. This is Select. That allows you to choose objects. These allow you to draw objects. You can draw a rectangle. This tool creates that into a three-dimensional object. This tool allows you to kind of move through your three-dimensional plane. The tricky thing about drawing, 3D drawing, is that you still have essentially two-dimensional control tools. So you can modify X and Y axis with your mouse, but it's really hard to like pull in and out and do things with the Z. So you end up having to move a lot. So this orbit tool is useful, as is this pan tool. Um, what's a real game changer here, though, is the fact that you don't have to have all of your own tools. In fact, I'll show you how to delete something. We're going to just... So my goal is to get the students to create a 3D model of a molecule, which they've looked up already. So when I go to Get Models, I'm going to have them search for the Molecule Toolkit two separate words on toolkit and we're going to download this model directly into our SketchUp model and you can see that what I've got here are all the basic models of our pieces of our standard molecule building manipulatable now one of the first things I need to do is I need to explode this group and that turns them all into their own pieces now, when I select one of them, I can move it by selecting the Move tool. And I can move it kind of in space, and then I'm allowed to do some rotating of it, because I've still got the Move tool. If I want to create a copy of it, I can right-click on it, and I can Control-C, and that creates a copy. And if I Control-V, I can paste yet another one in, and I can begin to make these. Likewise, I've got my single bond, I've got my double bond, I can manipulate those, their sizes, I can create more of them. Uh, and I can use all of these parts to create the model in three-dimensional space. And then I can use the text to label all of the pieces. Uh, apparently, the labels are already input into these. So there you go. It, that's the quick startup. When your students are done with their work, you're probably going to want them to export their work as a 2D graphic. Unless, if you export it as a 3D model, you have several different forms to choose from. Uh, the most popular is probably this Google Earth file, so you can open the file in Google Earth. But what I have my students do is we do not export the 3D model. We just simply export a 2D graphic. And they can choose the standard JPG, PDF, PNG, any of those. So there's a lot of options available there. And uh, enjoy. SketchUp is a really powerful tool. And with this model set, it just takes the students a little while to get comfortable with it.